Hi guys, Happy New Year. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing my head wrap inside, but it's because if you follow me on Twitter at Heather's Book Rev, short for Heather's Book Review, you know that I just got home from a cruise and my forehead is peeling like crazy and it's the new year and I don't want to gross you guys out with a new year video where my skin is peeling. So yeah, anyways, um, Happy New Year, like I said. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. I know I sure did. I'm feeling so happy and blessed with my life right now and I just have a great feeling about this year. Um, speaking of 2013, and January 16th is my one year anniversary on YouTube. I can't believe it's already been a year. Like, it's just mind boggling. So much has happened. I just reached 10,000 views, which is crazy. I mean, I can't believe my videos have been viewed more than 10,000 times. Like, it's just crazy. And I'm sure you guys can tell that the quality of this video is way, way, way more amazing than my previous videos. And that's because for Christmas, my family all came together and pitched together to get me an amazing Canon camera. So family, if you're watching this, I love it. It's amazing, it's great, and thank you. And um, I'm also going to buy a video editing software so I can cut and trim my videos and cut out my awkwardness because it's always in my videos. And yeah, so I wanted to get started on the book review that I'm doing today. It is on The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hoodkin. This is the sequel to The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hoodkin. Um, this video does have spoilers in it, seeing as though this is a sequel to the first book. So if you would like to watch this video, go read the first book, watch my review, come back here, read this one, and just see what we're all talking about. But this book is so amazing, you guys. Um, at the end of The Be the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, when she freaked out because she saw Jude, I knew it wasn't going to go over well because I knew that no one was going to believe her except Noah. And then all that crazy stuff happened where her parents um, luckily let Noah live with them for a little bit, which I think was really beneficial for Mara. But also, she had to go to their, um, those weekly, you know, things at Horizons or whatever it was called with that crazy girl, I think her name was Phoebe, who had like the relations with Jude or whatever. And she was just always creeping me out. And I was just so scared for Mara in this book because, um, that one time when Noah was like, you're the one that went and got that creepy doll her grandmother saw out of the dumpster I was like if she doesn't remember what she's doing what if she's just actually crazy and I was like this book is gonna take a crazy you know new turn but it didn't and well I mean the end is crazy and I feel like Michelle can just do so much with um, the ending of the book but there's just so much that happened in here like when she was in the car with Daniel and his girlfriend and Noah and all of the crows just fell on the car I was like okay seriously like what is wrong with her like she's killing everything does she have a power is it more of like a curse and all of the flashbacks with the girl from India I was like oh my god this is so crazy like I don't know what is that like is it I'm guessing it's something to do with like her family history and it's just been passed down from generations and somehow she's like having all of these dream flashbacks of how like everything first started. But I feel like that's really going to be explained in the third and final book of the trilogy. Um, and with the ending with Jude and how all of the other crazy kids had like some sort of power too, I just feel like the third book is just going to be one huge gigantic go out with a boom type thing. And this book is just so crazy. Jude's crazy. And I know Noah's not dead. So if you guys are freaking out because you think he's dead. I really don't think he is. Because the third book would be nothing without him. Because he's just so brilliant. But yes, I feel like their characters were so well developed in here. Along with, I'm so happy that Jamie's back. Because I feel like he was just written off the face of the earth on the first book. Um, so I'm so happy that he's back. And I just cannot wait for the third. This book is so amazing. And there's just so much more... Um, that I want to talk about, but I'm running out of time because my memory card is almost full. But yes, this is just so amazing. I'm so excited for the third and final book in the trilogy coming out next year. I believe the release date has not been set, yet, set out yet. But yes, leave your comments below what you thought about this, uh, the second book and what you think the third book is going to entail. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye!